No one who has read the Hamas Charter should be surprised by the slaughter that took place October 7. Created at the terror group's founding, it states that Israel will exist and will continue to exist until Islam will obliterate it. Genocide of Jews. Jonathan Conriquez is a former IDF spokesman and a senior fellow at the Foundation for Defense of Democracies. The Hamas Charter is... It is a charter to perform genocide against Israelis and to annihilate the state of Israel as we know it. It's full of references to the destruction of Israel. Hillel Frisch is a senior researcher at the Jerusalem Institute for Security and Strategy. The document has one very specific purpose, and that is to call for the destruction of the state of Israel, to organize all Muslims for that purpose and create a military terrorist force. An offshoot of Egypt's Muslim Brotherhood, the name Hamas is an Arabic acronym for Islamic resistance movement. Its original charter reads like something written in Nazi Germany. Article 22 says of Jews, with their money they took control of the world media, news agencies, the press, publishing houses, broadcasting stations, and others. The document blames Jews for the French and Communist revolutions, World Wars I and II, and states Jews created the United Nations to enable them to rule the world. There is no war going on anywhere, the document reads, without having Jews' finger in it. The charter even blames Jews for the creation of the Rotary and Lions Clubs, which Hamas apparently sees as sinister forces. The document also quotes from the Quran and from a Muslim hadith. The day of judgment will not come about until Muslims fight Jews and kill them. Then the Jews will hide behind rocks and trees and the rocks and trees will cry out, O oh Muslim, there is a Jew hiding behind me. Come and kill him. Hamas issued a revised charter in 2017 which softened some of the original's violent and anti-Semitic rhetoric. However, Conriquez says the October 7th massacre exposed the revised charter as a fraud. All that was a smokescreen, and Hamas very cleverly misled Israeli decision-makers until they revealed what their real intentions were, and they did that on October the 7th. Article 13 in the original charter rejects any negotiated settlement and says the only solution for the Palestinian question is jihad, holy war. Frisch says the dilemma over negotiating with Hamas is that it would likely allow the group to remain in power. And within two, three years, they'll be exactly at the same point as they were on October 6th, the day before the slaughter. Hopefully in the future, there will be peace to be made with the Palestinians. Many Israelis want to make peace with the Palestinians. Israel has tried, but there's no peace to be made with Hamas. That's because the Hamas Charter forbids peace until Israel is destroyed. Dale Hurd, CBN News. Hard to deny the words written in the Charter. To deny, and what is amazing to me that is that there are protesters on American campuses, there are protesters on the streets of New York City, uh, on the same day that we're having memorials for the dead of October 7th, they're out calling for more killing, uh, that Israel needs to be wiped out. And the whole lie that Israel is this apartheid state, uh, that there's some kind of horrible oppression happening. It's all this ideology, and it's fundamentalist Muslim ideology, that if a land is under Sharia law it, and it ever loses that designation, it's the obligation of every Muslim to reconquer it so that Sharia law can be reestablished. That is the fundamental here whether it's the Muslim Brotherhood or Hamas or Hezbollah or um, Fatah, any one of these groups, that is their core ideology. And so they're trying to be very good Muslims and they're using the Quran to justify the slaughter and genocide of Jews. That is what's happening here. We've been saying it since October 7th. You have to look at their charter. You have to look at their founding document. It's quite clear what they're spelling out. And the whole October 7th uh, massacre 
It was called Al-Aqsa Flood, and Al-Aqsa is the mosque in Jerusalem. What they wanted is to go all the way to Jerusalem and take back all of Israel. That's what they wanted, and that's what they dedicated and still dedicate their lives to do. So when, when you see these headlines, when you see someone claiming uh, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free, what they're calling for is genocide. They're calling for the slaughter of Jews. When the UN says uh, Israel can't ban UNRWA, uh, if, if they do, there'll be drastic consequences. Well, UNRWA is now, should be de designated a terrorist organization. Employees of UNRWA were part of October 7th. Uh, uh, UNRWA funds went into this ideological training at every single one of the schools. The Hamas headquarters were, were based on, in the basement of, of UNRWA uh, buildings. All of this done with our taxpayer money. Uh, it, it, let's, let's stop this fiction that somehow or other you can negotiate with that? The answer is no, they, they themselves say, we can't negotiate with you. We're only dedicated to wiping you out. So let's learn from Hezbollah. Here there was a negotiated settlement. They, they supposedly agreed to withdraw to a geographical point that would have a buffer zone that would be overseen by the UN. Uh, none of that happened. They violated that treaty on the first day. Uh, and so today you have 200 rockets pouring into Israel from Hezbollah. And still you have world leaders saying, well, we need to have a ceasefire immediately. Well, w w Hezbollah isn't about to cease fire. And you can't expect Israel to just sit there and take it. They have to respond. They have to meet these threats head on and say, not in our lifetime. We have vowed never again. Uh, the entire world did that after World War II. And here we are in our generation, in our time, right now. Never again. You did never get to, to declare jihad against the Jewish people. You never get to declare genocide. You never get to say, from the river to the sea. No, that's not going to happen on our watch. We stand with Israel.